Hello, hello. Hi, Elena. Hello, I see you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going today? Friday, the final day of the week. Did you mm. cancel any yes. plans? No, no, only house. <laughs> okay, only at home. Okay, nice. Okay, perfect. Today we finish. No more classes. Yes, yes okay. I know. Okay, today we have the ending of the model and we are going to cover the last topic and that would be it. Imagine, printer media 2 is gone. Good evening. Uh, hello, Jancy. Welcome. Great hello. to have Thank you in you. class. Welcome, welcome. We are just uh, having a mini conversation with Elena. I was telling her that today we finish. The last class is today. All right. You get your diploma, correct? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Excellent. All right. Uh, Jose Daniel uh, Chavez is connecting too. Okay. Do you have any information about the next model? Do you have any info about the next model? No. Uh, the microphone, the microphone. Repeat the question, please. Okay. Can you or could you? Can you or could you? Okay. Do you have any information about the next model? No. Next no? No. No. Okay. Say, I don't know. Yesterday, we were studying the word uh, yesterday. Yes, last night. Uh, uh, how yes, do you teacher. say? Already? 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 Uh, no, that is when you are done with an activity. Mm -hmm. When you finish an, an activity you use already. The other one, the other with three letters. Yet. Three letters. Yet. <laughs> Correct. Not yet. All right. Not yet. Todavía no. Okay. Uh, you can ask to the administrative people about any details about the next model, about the, the time for the inscriptions, etc. Because I don't have that information. Okay. So don't ask me <laughs> because I don't have those details. Okay, welcome, Crincia Cruz. Nice to see you. Joanna, Thank you. Too. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Okay, today we say goodbye. Yes, today we say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, congratulations for being in the last class. Okay, the last class of the model, printer meeting too. Um, we're going to see the last topic uh, in a moment. And let me see. Okay. I'm going to share the, the screen already. Uh, let me know. Let me know if you see the presentation. Okay. Do you... Yes, I yes, see teacher. it. Yes, 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 cool. yes, teacher. Cool, cool. Okay. Uh, did you cancel any activity for this Friday to be in the class? No? No? No. Okay. No, no teacher. Problem. Okay, I didn't neither. I didn't have any, any plans. All right. Let's see. Welcome to the final class. Let's advance directly to the presentation. Okay, the topic is? For and since. For and <laughs> since. Since. Okay, those are two words that we use in with the present perfect and with other tenses too, not only with present perfect. 
we can use okay. it for the simple present uh, and other tenses in the past too. Okay, and the sentence that is here, can you read it, please? I work in the field for 35 years. 35 years. Okay, if you check the picture, that is huh? a field. field. What is field in English, in Spanish, sorry. What is field? In the campo. Agricultura. Okay. Yeah, field, campo, yes. Do you like the field? Do you like? Yes, yes, I, I like, like it. it. Yes, I like it. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Many people work a lot in the fields. When you say in the fields, you repeat in los, you mean or you refer in los campos or in singular in the field. Okay. And if you check it, we have the word for, for how many years? 35. 30, 35 30. years. That's a, a long time. Isn't it correct? Long time working in the field. Okay, we can check how to use. How to use for the field. in English. Okay, we are gonna study this a little bit. So we can use these two words because in the speaking English, we use them. And for that purpose, we're going to check a short video with this topic. For instance, what is, what is the difference? Do you have any idea about the difference between for and since? And I think you uh -huh. for, for uh, um, para o por and since es como desde. Ah, okay, good, good. Okay, you get a clearly the idea, and that is that is that's it. Okay, for oh, there's there's going a motorcycle. All right, for can you repeat it, Elena? Can you repeat it? Uh, you can use for uh, uh, say for para and you can use since uh, uh, para referirse desde. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, pero como se dice para referirse? What is the verb? Uh, uh -huh. It's similar, it's to refer. Refer. To refer. To refer, to refer. Yes. refer. Okay. okay. Okay, to refer. Okay, today is not Tuesday, today is Friday. And month is not October anymore. October <laughs> was done long ago. Now we are in? November. Yes. November. Next, in two weeks, uh, yeah, one, two, in two weeks is going to be my birthday, imagine, November. Yes, okay, I'm going to celebrate. Okay, Friday, November, and the day? The date? Fourth. 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 Okay, good, fourth. Okay, uh, refer, the verb is refer. Okay, we refer to for when you say para o por, and when you use since is desde. Okay, yes, that is the meaning. Let's see. The first one, the first part that we have for. For uh, defined period of time. Okay. That is for a defined, what is defined? Definir. Definido. Definido. Okay, that is uh, for a defined period of time. 
for example, you start in what is the 2016? In the 2016, yes. 2019. Okay, okay, Elvira, good, good night. No, you say good night when the class is finished and we are done. It's good evening. At the end, it's good night. Okay, but no problem. Attentive only that I'm still working. Okay, no problem. Okay, you start in 2016. And you end in 2019. In the 2019. That is a specific period of time. You begin and you end, or you finish. And since, uh, oh, the sentence. I have studied English for three years. Okay. Is the sentence correct? Is the sentence correct, guys, or something mm, happens with it? It's correct, teacher. It's, it's correct. Correct. Okay. That's your opinion. Okay. What about the rest? It's correct because it's a period of time, like a rule. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let me tell you that is not correct. It's not correct. Where is the mistake in the sentence? The verb. The verb, correct. What happens? What happens with the verb? The verb is present. Mm -hmm. And the verb should, debería, be, es? should, should be remember the moral. Past. The moral verb should, should okay. be hmm? in past. In past. But why? Because you use this the the for when you refer to a completed a completed period of time, but in this in this opportunity, the sentence should be in past because I am talking that I finished. I finished my studies in, for example, in 2019. That was the end. And I began, y comencé, in 2016. 2016. Uh -huh. And so the period of time is, is finished. It's I done. Studied. I studied, correct? I studied. I studied. English for three years. For three years. Okay. The question is, do you continue studying? Yes or no? Do you do you continue studying English? No. Uh, yes no. or no? No. No, you don't. You don't continue. The time is finished. Yeah, tell me no. It's done. Finished. No more. No more. All right. That is the thing. Okay. But in this opportunity, it should be in simple past. Correct. Okay. Since, since yeah. it's for continuous period of time. Okay. You begin uh, in, for example, in which year? Uh, 2020. Okay. In the 2020, you start. Okay, you begin, you start. And do you finish? Is the, is the, the same. You don't, correct. You don't, you don't finish. You don't finish. You continue doing the activity, whatever activity that you do. Uh, for example, um, I, I have been studying in the university since since 2016 do i complete my studies did i no. finish no, no you don't no you don't i have not no you have not you have not completed your studies correct i have not completed my studies because 
in this moment, I am in the university yet. Todavía estoy ahí. I have not finished. ¿Sí? That is the arrow point, pointing ahead. Por eso va ahead, hacia adelante. And that is the difference between for and since. Is it clear uh, with this uh, mini, mini explanation? Clear? All clear. clear. I hope so, espero. Okay, let's uh, watch the video about that. Let's open the link. Ah, no, I had it open already. Uh, okay, your attention, because this is explanation about the topic. This is Everyday Grammar. I'm Kaveh. And I'm Lucia. Lucia, how long have you been living in the city? I've been living here for six years. Yeah, I've been living here since 2010. So you've been living here for, hmm, that's a really interesting point you just brought up. What do you mean? Well, the use of for and since. For talks about a period or duration of time. It doesn't have to be an exact number, but it needs to refer to a period of time, like for the weekend, for ages, or for a long time. Wait, let me try. We're going to New York for the weekend. I've known you for ages. I have been studying English for a long time. That's great. Also, for can be used when talking about the past, present, or future. Last year, I traveled for three weeks. I'm traveling for three weeks. Next year, I will travel for three weeks. Since refers to a point in time. For example, I have lived here since 2010. It has been raining since 8 a.m. I have been walking since 5 p.m. Remember, for is used with a period of time, while since is used to refer to a specific point in time. And that's Everyday Grammar. Okay, again? Or again. only once? Yes, please. Again, okay, again. This is Everyday Grammar. I'm Kaveh. And I'm Lucia. Lucia, how long have you been living in the city? I've been living here for six years. Yeah, I've been living here since 2010. So you've been living here for, hmm, that's a really interesting point you just brought up. What do you mean? Well, the use of for and since. For talks about a period or duration of time. It doesn't have to be an exact number, but it needs to refer to a period of time, like for the weekend, for ages, or for a long time. Wait, let me try. We're going to New York for the weekend. I've known you for ages. I have been studying English for a long time. That's great. Also, for can be used when talking about the past, present, or future. Last year, I traveled for three weeks. I'm traveling for three weeks. Next year, I will travel for three weeks. Since refers to a point in time. For example, I have lived here since 2010. It has been raining since 8 a.m. I have been walking since 5 p.m. Remember, for is used with a period of time, while since is used to refer to a specific point in time. And that's Everyday Grammar. 
Okay. Question for you guys. Question. How long have you been studying English? You can answer using for or since. You can choose the the word of your answer how long have you been studying english um, how long one year okay I have, one year uh -huh. i have been studying english for a month okay good good all right any other any other answer how long I have, have you? Mm -hmm. I am I have studying. A... Excuse me. Okay, I first have... Joanna, first Joanna, and then Jancy. We are going okay. in order. No problem. Yes, Joanna. I thank you. I have been studying English for three months. For three months. Okay, and Jancy. I am studying English since uh, 2021. 20, okay, good, good. Okay, uh, the majority of your answers are were okay. But remember, when you have a question, pay attention to the tense, the tense, el tiempo de la oración, or de la question. Because it was, how long have you been studying English. In other words, is this one. How long have you? Have you? What is have you? Mm -hmm. What is the tense of the question? Simple past, verb to be, Simple participle. present, the participle. participle. I, okay. I have, I have, I have been mm -hmm. studying English uh, for for one year. Okay, studying English for for one one year. Is that correct? Jancy's answer, guys, is Jancy's answer correct or not? To use contraction if I you think. can, uh, but that is optional. You can use uh, their normal the normal way, or you can use a contraction. That is optional. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's correct. It is correct. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. What is but what is the tense? The tense is the the present perfect. Uh -huh, because the auxiliary, correct? Have the participle been mm -hmm. of the to be and the ing of the progressive. So is the present perfect progressive. That's different. And the answer is correct. Yes, you are using the auxiliary for the present perfect. You are using the participle, correct? And you are using the same verb uh -huh, in the in the progressive studying studying ing uh, because when you say studied that seems simple past cuando dice studied parece que es simple past pero aquí no va el simple past right okay yes okay no simple past we don't need it all right, so yeah, it is correct. I have been studying English for, for one year. And this sentence is correct. It is correct. Okay, good. Any doubts uh, about the video? Did you have any doubt about the video? In any part, you, you tell me, you can ask, ah, teacher, I didn't get that part in when she or he says okay we we are checking with no sound you tell me ah oh, teacher that part that part stop stop the video uh, teacher uh-huh 
tengo una tengo una eh, pregunta. Según I el video, have a I, I have a question. In the video, eh, you no, I I can use for eh, eh, for the pre, for the past, present, and future. Is correct? Ah, correct. Yes. Okay, we can check that part so we can discuss. Okay, the video is not too long, it's only two minutes. We are going to stop in that part when we see it because they say that you can use the for, for the future, for the past, and for the present. Okay. Just a moment. Okay, in that sentence, this one, let's check it. In this sentence, is it correct to say I have been studying English for a long time? Is this yes. a specific? Long time. Long is, time. Is it specific or not? Not a specific. It's not a specific, but the sentence is correct because of the structure, yes. In, you can use, you can be very specific or not uh, specific. In this uh, case, long time, it doesn't tell you if it's one year, two years. You don't know. But the structure is correct. I have been studying English for a long time, but it's correct. Okay, let's see, talking about the past, present, and future, that is the part. Last year, can you read it? Last year, yeah. last it's year, I traveled for three weeks. Ah, okay, imagine, you bought a flight ticket, you bought a flight ticket, okay? You bought a flight ticket and you were traveling uh, for three weeks only uh -huh, for three weeks so you can say last year i traveled for, for three weeks three weeks is it three weeks a specific yes yes it is a specific three weeks are three weeks you didn't have more time to travel Okay, and that is past, see? The verb is in past. In the present? I'm traveling for three weeks. Okay, um, make a sentence about your studies during the week in the present. It's similar to this one, see, similar. But talking about your studies, Mm -hmm. Using ing traveling traveling yeah mm -hmm. but not traveling right mm -hmm. I'm studying I'm studying for how many days a week do you study I study, I study five days. four days I'm, I'm studying, studying English. English for, for days. For four days. Is that correct or not? For five days. Five? No, they are four. Four days. Four, oh, four only. yeah, yeah. Ah, in four the week, five. four days. For, four I'm days studying in the week. for one year. I know, but in this case, we are talking about the present. The present. I'm, I'm this week. For, about this week. For four days. I'm studying English for four days you mean quiere decir that you began studying on monday and let's suppose right let's suppose that we finish on thursday and those are the four days is that a specific that you are studying english 
for four days a week? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Or no? A specific or not a specific in not the a, period not of a time? But not you a say four days. Yes. Uh -huh. Four days is a specific. Or I can four say. Four days? Uh -huh. No, no, a specific. Uh, uh, the day, a Monday, for, for example. Oh, okay, I, I get you. Ah, okay. okay, I get you. Sí, le entiendo. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know that you begin on Monday and you finish on Thursday. But that is because you know. Eso es porque sabe cuando comienza y termina, right? But I can say, ah, I am teaching English for four days, four days a week. How many days uh, in the week? How many Seven. days? Seven. Seven days. And how many days do I give uh, classes? Four days. Four. Four. Four days. So I can say, ah, in this, in this week, I'm teaching for four days a week. No more, only four days. And that is present because you are saying, I'm teaching. Estoy dando classes. Uh, por cuatro días. A la semana, and that is uh, that is specific because they are only four, not seven, not the seven days, not the complete week, but it's a specific. Mm -hmm. Ah, in the future, next year, it says next year I will travel for three weeks. Okay, how many hours are you or will you? How many hours? Will you work next Monday? For eight hours. Uh, but complete, subject, very uh, complement. I, I will work for eight hours. Ah, okay, you will work for eight hours. Okay, all right. Okay, in that case is a specific and you are using for because you know the the amount of time la cantidad de tiempo eight hours is that is a specific eight hours yes yeah, specific it yes, is teacher. it is correct it is a specific okay so that is how you can use for in the past in the simple present or in the future in the future Questions and about this, we are going to practice a little bit about this. Questions about scenes? Not much. Okay. Okay, period of time. Sometimes can cannot be very specific. Algunas veces no es tan específico. Porque por un largo tiempo is on the undefined. No es tan definido. But it's correct. It's correct. Or right. Let's see. And this part has already passed. Okay, let's practice with some grammar exercises so we can. Tip. Okay, the purpose of this exercise is that you can select the words and organize them in the correct side. Let's see. Uh, what is this year? 1995. Okay, is in this size. Or in this side? Sins. In that this side. Time. In the sins. Okay. Is for? For sins. Okay, it's for sins. It's para sins. Okay, yeah. good. Sins. I drag it. Okay, this one is? For. A long time. A long time for. 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 What about this one? Four. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you make a sentence using 
have this uh, or uh, no. uh, but this try bar. try to make a sentence half an hour okay but try to make a sentence with the subject the verb and the complement using for of course I walk half an hour every day. Okay, I work half an hour, 30 I minutes. I work for media, media hour. Okay, okay, good. That is one sentence, that is correct. So it goes with four. This one? Four. Okay. Hey, what about the rest and the rest of you? Same. What do you say? Uh -huh. Correct or not correct? I was young. young. I, I was young. It's four. Four. Okay, I will place four. it in yes. four. Since two months. Since two months. months. Since four. Since four. 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 For two months. For scenes. For two months. Four. Four. Four, correct. Four. Okay, I will place it there. Uh, last, last week. Last week. For last for week. week. Last week is? For last week. For last week. Okay. Since. Since. March. Since. For since things, things. Okay. Since seven. For seventh June. June. Since for since. Mm, for or since. Since. Uh, since. Since seventh June. Okay. The. The beginning of the lesson. Of the lesson. For, the beginning. For, for the beginning of the lesson. For, for, el, for el inicio de la clase. No. Por el inicio de la clase. Things. Things. <laughs> ah, y si lo pasa al Spanish. Okay. Ajá. Things. Desde. Desde el inicio de la Since the beginning of the lesson. ¿Cuál tiene más sentido Things. si lo leemos así? Things. Things. Things, right? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, five minutes. For five Por minutes. cinco minutos o desde cinco minutos. Things. For. For. For five minutes. For five minutes. Okay. O'clock. Since six o'clock. Since. Since. Uh, this one? Four. 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 Things. Here. Four. 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 Two. Things. Two centuries. Things. Okay. You gotta you, you gotta think. Is it a specific period of time or is the beginning? A starting point, un punto de partida, o es un tiempo específico. Two centuries. Four. Four. Okay, this one. Thursday. Since. Since desde el jueves o por el jueves. Since. 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 Ah, okay. Since. Since. A week. For, for, for a for, week. For, for a week. For since a week. Desde una semana. O por, por, for a week. Maybe. Uh -huh. For okay. a week. Week is a starting, a week. a starting point for a specific period of time. For a week. But it's for. 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 For the other time. But it's full, just a full. Yeah. That means that any five minutes. Five one, minutes. It's five minutes. Ten years. Five minutes. Okay. Five minutes is, okay. five minutes is at this since. side. Since five, there's the cinco minutos. Yes. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna check. Vamos a revisar. A week. 
Four. Four. And some days for four. For some days. Design some days. Since. Uh, since. Okay, let's check. Submit answers. Oh. Okay, some of them are not correct. Okay, but what happens? ¿Qué pasa ahí? Depending on the context, no es porque since eh, una palabra va en since y la otra en for. Uh -huh. Puede cambiar el sentido dependiendo. Right? No es así como que oh, tan, tan sharp. Okay, let's try with another link. Uh, we have this one. Okay. Okay, linking word to give a resort. Linking word to give a result. What is that? What does that mean? What is a linking word for or since? Linking word to give a result. To re relationate a word mm -hmm. to make a center. With this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. The thing is that since is going to be always or in the majority of the cases, since is for a starting a starting point. Un punto de a starting point. Punto de partida. Uh -huh, correct. With no end. With no end. A starting point, no end. Como digo, mm, let's see, no end. An example, I'm, I'm thinking in a sentence, so you can translate it. I estado, he estado ejercitándome. How do I say? He estado ejercitándome have, desde el año pasado. I started. I have been. I, I have been. been. I have been. I have been. Uh -huh. mm. Starting. Exercise. 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 ING. Cuando, cuando. Exercise. Yes. When you use a bean, uh, the next word has to be ING. I've been, he estado exercising. Uh -huh. Repeat the sentence. Since, since last since. year. Uh -huh. last, year. Last, last year. Last year. year. Yeah. Last year. Okay. That is the, the sentence with the word since. And what about with the word for? ¿Cómo hago una sentence with for? Con esto mismo. I, okay. I, 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 yes, I, I exercise. How, how okay. uh, okay. exercised uh, with D. I exercised. Okay, exercised. In past. For, for one year. For. One, one year, year. Okay, for one year. Okay, what is what is the difference between those two? The difference is? Uh -huh. What for is the difference? It's a specific time. Ah, time. one year, correct. How many, how many days is a year? How many days is a year? How many? How many days? Three sixty. Three sixty. Three sixty-five. Three sixty-five. Correct. Okay, those are the days that a year has. 
Ah, okay. For example, you paid uh, you paid on January, and the renovation of the gym of the gym car expires in twelve months. Ah, so you exercised because you didn't renovate the the gym car. You only exercise. Mm -hmm. For, for one year. Do you continue exercising because you didn't renovate the gym card? Do you continue going to the gym if you don't pay? Can you go to the gym if you don't pay the, the month? No. No, no correct, can. you can't. You can't do it, you can't continue. So that is a specific point, a starting, a starting point and ending. And this one is? I have been exercising <laughs> since, since yeah. last year. Do you continue going to the gym? Yes. Uh, yes. Ah, yes, because your time has not yes. completed. No se ha completado. You can, you can pay the next year. Can you pay the next year to continue going to the gym? Yes or no? Mm. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, you can. And the next year? Yes. Uh-huh. Can you yes. pay the next year to continue? continue? If you want, yes. Okay, yes. if you want, yes. That is the difference between uh, the since and for. And uh, according with this linking word to give a result, what is the result? What is the best result of the two? What is the best result that you get from the two? ¿Cuál es el mejor resultado que, que recibe de las dos? Ajá. Uh, the one that you can continue or the one that you finished, la que, con la que usted terminó o con la que continuó. ¿Cuál le dará mejor resultado? Si continúa, continue. si continúa yendo al gym o si para. ¿Cuál es el mejor resultado? Continue. Of course, if you continue, si continúa, right? But if you stop going to the gym, you can get a result, but minimum, minimum result. Ok. Uh, no sé si han oído de los que ah, se quejan de, de no tener resultados, pero yes. porque van un tiempo y después they quit. They stop. Ok, they quit. Porque lo dejan. Ajá. Y esto da más resultado continuar, ¿sí o no? Yes. If you continue yes. going. That is, that is the thing. The, the result that you get. Okay. But with the two sentences, comparando las dos. Get, get the point about that? ¿Se entiende el punto de cada una? Yes, teacher. Uh, with, the, yes. with the example, con el ejemplo. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I hope so. If you have a questions, ask. Si hay dudas, hay que preguntar. Uh, let's see, the next one, let's see, let's check another one. Uh, shuffle, complete with a linking word. I believed the linking word is for or since. La que es la link, la que une, es word, es la for or since, cualquiera de las dos. Complete, can you read it? Complete. Complete with, with a link, link to work. work. I live in this neighborhood, this neighborhood for two years, for three years, years for three we're moving some. Okay. I believed in this neighborhood for Three years. 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 Okay. Uh, here is telling you to complete. Aquí hay una parte porque ya está usando for. For. Ajá. It is using for. Y como hago otra oración con since. I have been. Uh, living. Okay. Uh, the sentence is I've. I've been, I've been, been, I've been, no, I've lived, I've lived. it's I lived, I've lived. Uh, he vivido, I've lived, 
Uh -huh. I live. Okay. In Next this one. neighborhood. I live in this neighborhood. Okay. This neighborhood for three this months. For, neighborhood. For three neighborhood for. For three years. For three, for three years. Years. Okay. Can we can we complete or do another part in the sentence? Okay, you can make uh, one sentence or a comma. We, okay, can you continue we, a sentence with, with since? Se puede continuar una sentence with things, con since. I believe the, okay, hay que revisar primero. I lived in, I lived in this neighborhood for three years. I vivido en este vecindario por tres años. Okay. ¿Qué es una linking word? ¿Qué es una linking word? Es un enlace de palabras. Ah, okay. Correct. And can you remember any of them? ¿Se puede recordar de alguna? In, on. In, on is a preposition. At, after. After, okay, um, okay why before, before we can but, use but. But, but, correct, okay, this is a linking word. Esta sí es una linking word, but to make a contrast, did we have that class, guys? Tuvimos esa clase with but, the linking words, uh -huh. no, don't you remember? Recuerda, no? We, we got a review then. Hay que revisar, pues. Okay. I lived in this neighborhood for two years. But, okay, this is the positive, the positive statement. Esta es la, la afirmative, pero es positiva. En contraste, podemos poner una negative. ¿Qué negative le podemos dar usando since? Ok, la puede decir en español. El punto es que se puede hacer una negative sentence in contrast with the affirmative. Puedo decir algo bueno aquí y algo malo aquí. Pero eh, no era buen vecindario. Ah, ok. At the end, right? Al final. But. Mm -hmm. Pero no era un buen vecindario, pero no está sin ahí. Necesito. Ay, sins. Pero... Pero desde hace tiempo que quiero mudarme a otro, por ejemplo. Mm, ok. Ajá, pero... Desde hace desde tiempo. Desde hace tiempo. Since... But since long ago... But since long ago... Uh -huh. I want to move out. Ajá, move out. Correct. Move out. Okay, is that correct? Yes or no? Correct, correct or no? But since long ago, I want to move out. What is the reason why? Por qué? Uh, we don't know. No. We don't know. Okay, but um, this can be the negative one. Esta puede ser la negativa. Since long ago, I want to move out. Sí, está bien, pero no menciona la razón, right? No menciona mm -hmm. qué tan negativa es. Okay, but if you check in one sentence, we can use uh, for and since, depending on what you want to say. Depende de lo que quiera decir. All right? All right. ¿Se entiende o no se entiende? Yes, understand. Okay, siempre depende de context, right? Siempre va a depender del, del context. Okay, let's see something. The last one, the last one, because of the time. It says uh, linking word links a positive yeah. and yeah. a negative. Ah, okay, the one that we were doing, like estábamos haciendo. 
Ajá, aunque esta no era tan negative. ¿Cómo la puedo hacer negative? I believe the... Can you read it? I lived, so you can give me one idea. I lived in this neighborhood for three years, but since, pero desde. Hace un tiempo no quiero vivir aquí o allí. But since, but, but the reason why, where is the reason? ¿Dónde está la razón del por qué? The negative. It says here negative, positive, and negative. We have already the positive. Ya tenemos la positive. But the negative idea, I need something. Since this uh, week, there are many traffic. Ah, okay, that can be, puede ser. But since this week. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat it? Can you? There are many traffic. There are. Traffic is singular or plural? Traffic. Singular. Okay. Singular, correct. No puede ser there are. There is. There is many traffic. There is. Many is for countable. Solo para cosas que se pueden contar. Puedo contar un tráfico. Un tráfico, dos tráficos, tres tráficos. No. No. Ok, en, en lugar de many, usamos. Too much. Much, correct. Ok, since this week, uh, there is I. Uh -huh, too, too much. El too antes del much significa demasiado. Too much. Traffic. Traffic. Ok, do I have the negative? A statement. Do I have the negative? Yes. Now I have it. Ahora sí tengo la negative. I've lived in this neighborhood for three years, but since this week or since this month or desde este mes, uh -huh, you can use month even. Since this month, there is too much traffic and that doesn't help. Eso no ayuda. Okay, is the negative, is this negative sentence? Yes or no? Yes. It is. Yes. Okay. That, there is the contrast. Ahí está el contraste. Affirmative and the negative part. Yes. That is what it's saying here in the, in the example. Okay, guys, uh, you can continue practicing doing sentences about this topic so you can uh, study and, and review about four and since. All right. Uh, two minutes uh, for the end of the class. And uh, thank you for being in this final class. I wish you good luck for the next models. Continue studying, practicing, and everything that you can do because English can open you more opportunities, a lot of opportunities. All right. Keep that Thank in you. mind. Keep that in mind. Mantenga la mente eso, porque es cierto. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Being with you. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher, for everything. Okay. My pleasure. Thank you, teacher. My friend. My friends. Okay. Good night. Good See night, you. teacher. Happy weekend. See you soon. Hope. Bye bye. Adios. Take care. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.